Welcome to the next episode in this series. Today, I'm going to be heading out to do some high-speed training. One of the challenges we face in getting ready for this event is there's nowhere to go and practice a lot of the skills that we need to do because of the winter. Last night it was minus 21, and today it's not much warmer out there. But you have to make the best with what you have. So today, I'm going to be heading up to a friend's cottage and riding on a frozen lake to practice those high speeds and flat turns that are going to be essential for the prologue ride. I really want to get used to and feel comfortable with putting the bike sideways in third or fourth or maybe even fifth gear pin so that I can get those times in to qualify for the, uh, for the race itself. So this will be a very fun day. I've heard the conditions up there are just phenomenal. Once in a lifetime conditions, so I guess we'll see. Uh, but I'm, I'm really excited for today. Gonna get that, uh, that bike pinned and uh, get those speeds up to where they need to be for Erzberg. I'm coming up to my friend's cottage where I'm doing the ice riding today and I thought it might be a good time to reflect on a couple of things um, that have happened since I signed up for Erzberg. And one of the biggest things I've noticed is when you commit yourself to these bigger events, and it certainly doesn't need to be something like Erzberg or Romaniacs, but let's say you're just signing up or committing to yourself that I want to do my first race this year, or I want to do the corduroy for the first time. When you do that, um, there's a real motivation that you can use, the momentum of that. And it allows you to look forward and say, okay, I know I have this thing that's coming up that I'm a little bit nervous about, that I feel is a little bit beyond my abilities, or maybe a lot beyond your abilities. But what you do is um, start training towards it. And with a lot of time, like we have with Erzberg, you realize that if I can just put in a little bit of time every week, it's a powerful motivator to try and get to the level that you feel that you need to be at. So since I've signed up, I've been so excited about it. And I, I would think that a lot of you would have the same excitement if you were to make similar commitments like your first race or the corduroy is you get so excited for these things that you start training in ways that even surprise yourself. So since I've started, um, since I registered, I've trained every day. I've got on a few programs after that because momentum builds momentum. And once you do a few things, a few workouts, you think, well, maybe I need to work on this and so on and so forth. So it's been a really powerful motivator for me in keeping that momentum. And, and as I get in better shape, I'm feeling more and more motivated. I'm feeling like I need to train harder. And what was once the thought of, I hope I can just qualify has now got to the point now where I need to qualify or I will qualify and this is how I'm going to do it and I'm hoping in a couple of months from now it goes beyond that and I start picking out sections within Erzberg that I want to get to as realistic goals so you know I would encourage anyone who's watching this to make a goal outside of your abilities or what you thought was possible for yourself this year and that can mean and will mean different things for every person but you'd be surprised how much motivation comes from that and how many things uh, build upon itself and you may find that your once far-fetched goal is not just looking realistic but it's almost a certainty it may commit you to other goals other races uh, bigger goals than you ever thought possible
like, how do I go fast while going to, on ice here? How to slide an ice bike on sludge. <laughs> yeah. So what you do is you come in with all types of gas and you shut the gas off abruptly and it shifts the weight forward. And then what you need to do is stab down two gears at least. Okay. And then give your back brake a, a shot to initiate the slide and then give it like kind of constant pressure throughout the slide. So now I'm not giving a gas at this point yet. No, no, you're you're in a you're in a braking slide. Right you're just <laughs> fighting for your life. In theory. And and you're gonna use this foot to keep the bike upright as you as you slide it. And you're gonna be counter steering throughout the whole thing. And then you're you you'll get to a point uh, somewhere around the apex or like early apex where you just like not roll onto it, but like give it a good snap because. The, the, the difference between a brake slide and a gas slide can screw you up. Like, okay. if you try to be nice and meter it, you'll so you have it'll get traction for a second and it'll get weird. You so want to just always be sliding. Okay. So, stab down two gears, tap the back brake, kick it sideways, hold it sideways, slide, and then crack the gas and get into a gas slide now. And, and then you're gonna be all, you'll feel it instantly. Like once you get it kicked sideways on the gas, uh, you're just gonna meter it forcefully on the way out until you get what, to the end. What gear would I be in now, third? It doesn't matter. No. Gears are, gears don't even matter. It's, <laughs> it's like sometimes you're just like coming into it and you're into the slide and you're just stabbing down a gear, stabbing down a gear, <laughs> stabbing down a gear, like depending how, how <laughs> fast of a corner. To, and, and how much speed change you're going through. Okay. Um, y y you'll figure it out. But these things, like on a 250, you have more torque, so you kind of want to leave yourself uh, enough gear to accelerate forcefully throughout the corner. Okay. So if you- Do you find this works the same way on flat track? It's the same, exact same as flat track. Okay. Yeah, anybody- So this will have good applicability to the mining road at Erzberg. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you if you can drift it in here, then it's gonna be easy. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Yeah. It's gonna be easy, man. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right. <laughs>